Continue to follow that developing startling news out of the Texas Panhandle where this morning nearly 1 million acres are scorched and thousands of families have been forced to evacuate. In fact, the wildfires in the Panhandle are shaping up to be some of the worst in Texas history. And sadly, we can report that at least one person has died as a result of these fires. Our Kennedy Walker joins us live in studio this morning with the latest on the story being followed by people all around the world. Hey, good morning, Keith and Madison. Flames are growing by the second in the Texas Panhandle. These images behind me, they are just horrific. In just two days, it's become the second largest wildfire in Texas history. Now, there are five active wildfires, the largest being the Smokehouse Creek wildfire just north of Amarillo. It started on Monday in Hutchinson County and has already burned more than 850,000 acres, which is over three times the size of the city of Dallas. Heartbreaking video shows the raging flames destroying homes, farms, ranches, and buildings, even prompting evacuations. Those who couldn't leave forced to shelter in place. And this morning, CBS News Texas confirming a grandmother has died as a result of the blaze. 83 year old Joyce Blankenship died when the Smokehouse Creek fire enveloped her neighborhood in the town of Stinnett. Other families now forced to pick up the pieces of their homes and their lives. It was absolutely unreal. My son, I was FaceTiming him. He's in the service and uh, he said, Mom, Lee. Officials are unsure what sparked the fires, but 50 miles per hour winds and dry conditions is fueling those flames. Multiple fire departments from North Texas are sending crews to help get the fire contained. I'll have more on that effort coming up. But now let's check in with meteorologist Dennis Brown, who has more on the Texas wildfires and their impact, plus our first alert forecast. Good yeah, morning. Kennedy, you're absolutely right with the dry conditions of warm weather that parts of our state have seen, especially for the panhandle. And that's one of the reasons why they had uh, those fires conditions there. Also some dormant vegetation this time of the year is pretty inactive because of the colder months, but little to no impacts for us here in North Texas. All right, you got to understand our winds are really controlling everything today. As you look at this model, the winds mainly coming in from the east and then eventually from the south. That's going to take a lot of that smoke to the north toward areas and to even Kansas and even the Oklahoma panhandle. So they're going to have some smoky and hazy conditions and you'll see that that smoke will continue to move even farther to the north toward Minneapolis and even Canada, and you'll see Winnipeg there nearly 1,200 miles away from Amarillo. So here's the deal. We won't see any impacts here in North Texas, at least at this time.